welcome to MacroCode. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. So today we are going to create and start a series on .NET MAUI. So .NET MAUI is multi-platform app UI. It's actually a cross-platform app development framework by Microsoft. It is actually built on the .NET ecosystem and the framework supports Android, iOS, macOS, and actually Windows. So today we are going to start a simple .NET MAUI app project in .NET 9. So to, to begin, you can actually create a simple app by uh, starting your Visual Studio and going to create a new project. So when you create a new project, then you can search for .NET MAUI here on the template. So do .NET MAUI. So it will give you a .NET MAUI app or .NET MAUI Blazor hybrid app. So on our next series, as we go along, we are also going to create a .NET MAUI app. That is .NET MAUI Blazor hybrid app. But for, for today, I want us to create a .NET MAUI app, and we are going to uh, do a lot of these series as we go along. So if you want to see how this uh, unfolds, so remember to subscribe and like our videos. So if you are new to this channel and you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing, like our video, and comment down below. So to begin, we are going to uh, start with the with the with this uh, project. So I'll just uh, give it a name, for example, so let's create an employees, employees uh, uh, mobile app. So we're going to, create, to call this employee, employees app. So let's call it employees app. Then you are going to choose the location where you want your project uh, to sit on. So there we go. So I've actually indicated my allocation. So as you can see, then place the solution and project in the same directory. Then if I, I proceed next, it is actually in, uh, allowing me to do .NET, uh, .NET 9.0. And it is also giving us an, an example or to include sample content. So for me, I don't want us to include any sample content, just uh, create a simple uh, empty project. So I'll just create uh, click create and it will create our project. So the, as you can see, our .NET MAUI app is being created. So for those who are new to uh, this channel, consider subscribing and you're able to see how these unfolds. So this is a .NET MAUI. So you can see .NET MAUI is actually .NET multi-platform app UI. It's a cross-platform framework for creating native mobile and desktop apps with C Sharp and XAML. So with Northern Mavi, you can write your code once and run it on Android, iOS, Mac OS, and even Windows. So on the source code, as you can see, we have our Mavi program.cs. So this is our entry point for our application. We have the main page. And for each of the XAML pages, it has a .cs uh, uh, a class. So as you can see, the main page has a main XAML page as a corresponding uh, a CS class. You also have uh, the app shell. So as you can see, this is our app shell. You also have our app. And as you can see, this is our app. And also we have our resources. So we have the styles, we have the splash screen, the raw file, the images folder, we have the fonts folder and the app icons. Then you have the platforms. So as you can see on the platforms, you have the windows, Season, Macatalyst, iOS, and Android. Then here we have the properties, this is the launch uh, settings. Then you also have the dependencies. As you can see, we have the Android uh, uh, dependencies, iOS, Macatalyst, and even for Windows. So this is a simple .NET MAUI app. So I want us to launch this app and see how this uh, goes along. So let's just choose our emulator and we are going to start uh, that. So let's just launch and see. So if you're new to this channel and you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. So we are going to install our emulator, as you can see. So if this is your first time, so we are going to create one. Then as you can see, it is actually downloading. So let's download and actually use this as we are going to build our .NET Amawi app. So we notice 90% of you guys are watching our videos and you've not subscribed. So if you're one of them, please consider subscribing, like our video, and even comment down below. And in case you need this particular source code, you can always claim the source code using the link down below. So let's just wait for it to download, then we proceed. So our emulator has uh, installed. So let's just uh, click start. I'll click start and uh, run it. 
So we should now be able to see our emulator here and we can actually launch our app now using our emulator. So I'm going to allow, uh, then we should be able to see that. So let's just wait and see. So in the meantime, we can go to local, that is Android devices, and you can actually even lo lo uh, launch your app on your local device. So you can see for me, I'm using uh, Techno. So you can actually also log, that is test your app using your uh, Android device. So let me just close this. I want us to launch now from here. So it says Android is not using hardware acceleration. So I'll just uh, say start and uh, and expect you want to send so don't send so th there we go so let's see if something went wrong so it says uh, follow the instruction to enable add your acceleration so to enable the that we need to do something here so just uh, uh, search for turn uh, windows features then once you do that, so this is if you are running on Windows. So there's something I want you guys to enable. You see this Windows hypervisor platform. So enable that, just ensure it is checked. And you need to click OK and your machine will actually install and ask you to restart. So you need to do that. Then once you do that, we need now to relaunch our app. So if we go and relaunch our app, you'll notice that it is telling us the, bro the project cannot be launched for Android. Please check the error list uh, for more information. So to enable our project so that it can launch, let's do this. So to get rid of that error, so I want us to go to, just go here, then just say configuration manager. So you'll, you'll see we have the build and deploy and the deploy is not checked. So ensure you check this and also ensure this is also checked. So once you do that, let's try to launch our app and see if everything is going to work. So you can see it is now uh, uh, debugging our app. So there we go. So we need now to launch this and ensure that our emulator is uh, opening. So let me just uh, move my emulator so that you're able to see it. So let me just find it somewhere here. Let me just stop. I've just stopped. So I want us to relaunch it. So I want it to start again. So then I remove it here. So you can now see it. So that is my emulator. Uh, it is launching. So you can see our .NET MAUI app is now launching. So we can now see our mobile app here on our emulator as we are going to build this. So you can see the good thing now is we also have a preview, XAML preview live here. So you're able to see everything as we go along. So if I click that, you'll be able to see we have that. If I do this, we'll be able to see it's actually accounting. So this is our .NET MAUI app. So you can actually do some small, small items, like for example, the home page. You realize that it is saying LOL, so you can say hello macro code. Uh, you can say welcome to .NET Maui, and you can say uh, so. You can say this is uh, welcome to .NET multi-platform app UI. Then you can call these. Uh, these will be our employees management. Uh, this will be our employees, employees management system. So once we do that, so this app will now be, if you save that and we can preview, we need to uh, check that everything is okay. So here we need to say, welcome, welcome to employees management system. So as you, as you type in, you'll be able to see that being reflected here. So that is our .NET MAUI app. And also you can actually put in the title here of our app. So let's just show you can do here title. 
and we can say employees uh, smart app. So you can call employee smart app. So that is our employees smart app. And we can now do some items. So on our emulator, you'll be able to see now this is our employee smart app. And you can click uh, that way. So if you want to add a pages, so we are going to do some things on our app. So I want us to add some models. So I want us to add uh, a folder here called models. And also we are going to add another one for uh, view models. View models. Then we are also going to add another one for services. So I want us to add another one for services. So do services. Then also add another one for, let's add another one for interfaces. So since we have those ones, so we are now going to proceed and uh, uh, we can even add a simple page here. So I want us to add, uh, let's add uh, a folder for views. So let's call it views. So that, that will be our view pages. So here, I want us to add a new page. So right click, then proceed to uh, this uh, screen, then choose .NET Maui. Then you're going to add .NET uh, Maui content page as XAML. Then here, I want us to have these as a employees, employees list page. So once you add our employees list page, then you'll be able to see our employees list page there. So this list page, I want us to also pick this list page. So if we go to uh, app.zamo, uh, you'll, you'll be able to see we don't have anything. Amari program.cs class, you don't have anything. So if you go to app shell, we realize that you can actually add a main page here. So I want us to add another page, uh, our page now. So we are going to call that home. Then this one, I want us to call these employees employees list so then i want us to add now our employees page here so we'll be having this will be our root but as you can see it is saying local so local means our pages are actually on the main page but uh, on the local that is with, with it's outside it, it doesn't have any folder uh, on it but our employees page is inside this particular folder so we need to uh, do this we can copy sorry we can copy this then i want us to do here say views then this one you can do dot views so you can see dot views then we'll say our employees page is actually inside the views so if we launch this app we should now be able to access the employees page without uh, much struggle so that's a simple way of linking the pages to our app shell sidebar. So let's just uh, begin and see how that looks. So we are going to now access our main page and we, we should be able to access the, we should be able to access the employees page. So let's just do, uh, launch our app and see. So if you're new to this channel and you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And in case you need the source code, you can always claim the source code using the link down below. So let's launch our app and see how this goes along. So our app is launching. So there we go. So our app is launching. So you can see this is our app and we can actually have a, a preview there. So sorry, I think uh, something went wrong. Let's just confirm. So it's launching. So we just need to ensure that everything is okay. Yes, as you can see, uh, something went wrong. So we have our employees list, we have our views list page, and we also have this uh, list page. So if you launch, uh, there we go. Let's just confirm. Yeah. So that is our app. And if we go back here, you should notice that we now have our list page. And if you click it, it is telling us employees list page. So we can even check change our title for our employees list page. So you can say this is employees, employees list. So that is our title. And in case you save it, you should be able to see that is okay. 
So I'm going to leave it there for today. So that's a simple .NET MAUI app just on .NET uh, 9. So if you want to see how this is going to look like as you go along, subscribe to our channel, comment down below, and we are going to build a complete .NET MAUI app in this particular series. See you in our next episode. Bye.